Alright guys, today I'd like to talk to you about the AMD FX8350. Now, I love this chip. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, perfectly uh, happy gaming. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, like I said, it's one of the best uh, CPUs I've had in a long while. As you can see, this is AMD Overdrive. As in, and I can see it reads all 8 cores. Even though all the software will read it as 4 cores and 8 logical. That's because it's one large core sharing with a smaller core. Think about a penny large penny says stacked with a smaller penny on top of each other and that's why you see all the software will read it like that and like I said let's benchmark it see what I get and so far it's never let me down I can play pretty much anything I can put my hands on I mean I've got about I don't know about a hundred games in my collection each one of those I can play no bother and so far with each driver release and new chipset release the performance seems to increase I mean I think uh, a lot of reviewers are not saying names but you know all the big wigs have really underestimated this CPU and uh, most of them are totally biased against it and and that that always may, makes me angry that like and know uh, you know get a new product instantly flag it you know I bet half of them don't even uh, bother update the BIOS and nothing like that I bet and so far uh, say 12,000 that's a good, pretty good score I mean, like I said, clock voltage, 4 gigahertz, current speed 4.1, and like I said, it's a happy chip. I mean, like I said, best chip I've ever had. I know this is for a NVIDIA GPU, but uh, you know, it's kind of a big uh, middle finger to them. Because uh, I can use this software to overclock my board, no uh, GPU, no problem. And so far, I have no uh, complaints about this processor. It's one of the best ones that AMD has ever released. And so far, plays anything I throw at it. You know, it's it's. I'm just uh, gog smacked about the uh, how well the CPU is uh, runs all the software. I mean, just gob smacked. Say, for example, you're running fraps in Battlefield 3. Without any frame drops, you can play quite happily. You know, without it worrying, crashing out because you've got no CPU power left. Other than that, I do video editing as well, you know, uh, stuff like that, you know, Vegas Pro, Coral Screen Cap, all that stuff. Never does any harm. And the temps are pretty good as well. I mean, there's my memory. And fan control. Yep. Stuff like that, you know. There's my board status. It's holding level at 32C because I'm actually running a uh, screen cap as well, but at idle it's right about 18C. So, like I said, couldn't be happier with this uh, CPU. I love it. I gave it 10 out of 10. You know, and for for the for the price of of the CPU compared to the i5s. On either side, you know, the Ivy Bridge or the other one, you know, it's about uh, £50 cheaper. And everywhere I look, it's about £50 cheaper. 
and and it easily outperforms it as well and that's my overview of the FX 8350 good good job AMD I love it